Welcome to Zoological World today we are discuss about Fisher Cat The Fisher Cat is secretive and difficult to find. Many misconceptions about them still thrive. These misconceptions begin with the name itself. The Fisher is not a cat at all, but a type of weasel. It also does not eat fish of any kind. Instead, the name seems to derive from its resemblance to the European polecat, also known as a fish in French. Early European biologists drew a natural comparison to the animal they were already familiar with. By the 20th century, human activity had dramatically reduced the natural range of this mammal, but recent improvements in their numbers may be forcing them into closer proximity with people. Incredible Fisher Cat Facts The Fisher is one of the few predators that can successfully take on a porcupine. Its main strategy is to run circles around the porcupine to exhaust it then it will bite the porcupine in the face. Even the occasional quill attack doesn't seem to deter it too much from preying on porcupines. Like other members of the weasel family, the fisher has a reputation for its ferocity. It has been known to triumph over animals twice its size in a fight, including the lynx. Fisher ancestors probably originated in Asia and then migrated to North America at some point in the last few million years. The evidence suggests that its range once extended farther south than it currently does. A minor league baseball team from Manchester, New Hampshire goes by the name of the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Fisher Cat appearance The Fisher shares many physical similarities in common with the closely related Martin and other members of the weasel family. These include a long, lithe body, low to the ground, short legs, a big, bushy tail, rounded ears, and a tapered muzzle. The feet are large and padded, which allow them to move ably across the light snow, and contain retractable claws. The coat usually comes in various shades of brown, ranging from light to dark, with gold or silver markings around the head and shoulders. Both the color and density of the coat may differ between individuals and even between the seasons. Summer brings a kind of mottled appearance, as the fisher undergoes the molting process, whereas the coat is thickest and darkest during the winter. The body of adult fishers measures between 20 and 25 inches long, about the same size as a short-legged dachshund. The tail adds another 13 to 16.5 inches. Altogether, the entire animal weighs between 3 and 15 pounds. Males are generally larger and also have coarser hair than females. Otherwise, their physical appearance is similar. Fisher cat behavior The fisher's naturally reclusive nature has made it somewhat difficult to study in the wild. From what we understand, it appears to be a solitary species that maintains a defined territory a few square miles large. The fisher does not generally interact with other members of the same species outside of the breeding season. This is supported by the fact that male fishers in particular tend to be quite aggressive toward each other. However, the home range of a male may overlap with the range of a few females, which helps facilitate interactions in the breeding season. Fishers mostly rely upon their excellent sense of smell, hearing, and sight to interact with the world around them and find suitable prey. They are active all year round and probably do most of their hunting in the twilight hours. Scent markings appear to be the main means of communication with other members of the same species. To the extent that most people know about fishers at all, it's commonly assumed that they make a loud screaming sound, but the evidence for this is limited. Most of the time, what people may be hearing is the loud screaming sound of the red fox. When fishers make any sounds at all, it's usually a chuckling or growling kind of vocalization. Fisher cat predators and threats habitat loss and hunting appear to be the main threats to the fisher. Since the 18th century, European trappers have prized the quality of their winter fur for the creation of scarves and neckpieces. This has also coincided with the loss of forest habitats in many areas of North America. Population numbers likewise fell over the same time period. In Minnesota, the fisher population has declined by some 50% and has yet to recover. One problem is that fishers rely on old or mature trees with a large enough hollow to fit inside. Logging continuously disrupts their natural habitat. Fisher cat population The fisher is currently classified as a species of least concern by the IUCN Red List. It is estimated that around 100,000 fishers still remain in the wild. With the decline of the fur trade and the restoration of some parts of its former habitat, the prospects for the fisher have improved considerably, but it still may be under threat in certain areas of North America.